Hey guys, Tony Story Stars Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today, because Aris did a factory smoke, and he's like, why don't you do one? I'm gonna review a factory smoke. So this has gotta be a really quick one because uh, it's middle of the night, last cigar of the day. So let's get to it. Today, this is a factory smoke by Drew Estate Shade, Connecticut Shade Robusto. All right. I, there's not really much to see, so I'm not gonna. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah. There we go. And um, quick information on this thing is a Connecticut shade. So the wrapper is obviously a Connecticut shade. Right? And the binder is Indonesian. And they are kind of honest because they say fill fillers various. Like you go, well, we talk about this. You don't know what filler is. So filler is various. And uh, yeah. Origins Nicaraguan. Which is kind of weird because Chua stays is in the US, kind of. So, all right. <sighs> Do I really want to smoke this? I will smoke this. All right, let me get it set up. I'll be right back. Okay, so just need you to take some picture on this so that I can have a cover art, but we'll go, we'll go, we'll go right into it. Smell like nothing. Maybe a little bit cedar. This thing is 5 by 54. This is fat. 5 by 54. What I didn't like is like when I cut it, everything just fall all over the place. So let's get started. Yep, everywhere. Everywhere. Kind of sweet. Cedary and sweet. Draw is extremely loose. Smoke output is not too bad. Cedar, sweet. Cedar creamy. Cedar creamy. A little bit of bitterness at the end. So when you first take a draw, you get a little bit of that sweetness and then it ends bitter. I also get a little bit of saltiness to this one too. A little bit, just a little bit. Now in terms of MSRP, this is roughly two or three dollars. It's a bundle. So keep in mind, this is not gonna really follow my normal Price range because my lowest is six. This is already lower than that. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna rate this for you guys. Mm. 
All right, then it starts to really bad, you know, it tastes like a normal cigar. With some sweetness to it. This is not, this is definitely not just a Connecticut. This has got to be some Nicaraguan tobacco in there. Because it has some saltiness to it. Some darkness to it. Not just Connecticut. All right, so I'm going to smoke through this. First, sir, be right back. All right, so first, sir, literally this is five minutes. Five minutes, I'm through first, sir. So I don't know what to tell you. A like short filler, it burns really, really quick. You're not going to get an hour out of this. Does it taste good? Yeah, it's not bad. It, this the thing about mixed filler. It's got a mix of quality, and then you got to get that Ecuadorian Connecticut shade uh, flavor. A little bit creaminess, a little bit cedar, and a little bit saltiness. Um, you're supposed to get a little bit of maybe a spice, but it's not 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 here at all. I don't taste it. So, but yeah, that's the first stir. Really quick. This is literally like five minutes or less. I I went back chat with Eric and go like, hey, look, it's first stir. <laughs> That's all it takes to first stir. So uh, I probably got to time how long the second third is. I'll be right back. Second third. All right. I'm at second third. It's about six minutes. So five minutes and six minutes right now to get to the second third. Uh, the flavor starts to get harsh. I do taste very minor amount, very small amount of ammonia. And um, the cedar kind of died down a little bit. There's still a little bit creaminess, but the cedar died down a little bit. Salt is already gone. There is not much to this cigar, but six minutes. Six minutes is what I got. Uh, so right now, so far, 11 minutes into the cigar. 11 minutes. Here's a factory smoke band. Very like, what do you call that? Generic. Very generic. It says Connecticut shake in the back. Premium handmade factory smoke uh, by Jew Estate. Honestly, I don't even know how they roll like mixed filler with the hand thing, even with the, because it uh, gets all over the place. But yeah, that's how they do it. That's how they do it. Very standard band. The other stuff for factory smoke is a different color, as you guys will know. So, all right. Laster. And we'll get to somewhat of a final review, I guess. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, uh, Laster. Same flavor, no change. Probably kind of lighter. Just woodsy. Just cedary. A little bit of sweetness. There. Now, I'm going to rate this. This cigar took about 16 minutes to smoke. 16 minutes. Not kidding, 16 minutes. It burns really fast because short filler. 16 minutes to smoke, all right? Now, that means to get an hour of enjoyment, you need four of these. Four of these. So, which means to get one hour, you need roughly, let's say the cheaper side, $2, uh, you need $8. And if you got to go the more expensive side, so $3 roughly, uh, you need $12. But this cigar is $6. There you go. So, do the math. Is the guy worth your money? I'll give it $6. Because that's, you know, very one-dimensional cigar. There's nothing to it. Show filler burns wicked fast. So, to get one hour, you need four. You're paying eight plus dollars for this cigar. You could have bought a premium cigar. Just think about that. Let it sink in. You need four of these to get the amount of enjoyment of one of those. And you got to pay the same amount of money to get that one hour. Not bad between cigars. It has, it's got good flavor, I think. But you got to pay that money. So you're actually losing more money than you think. Could have had an eight dollar cigar, ten dollar cigar, twelve dollar cigar, but you choose to smoke this. <clears throat> I'm not saying that you can. It's, like I say, it's pretty good between cigar. It lasts me fifteen minutes. I could have smoked another Davidoff for you know 
for that 15 minute long filler for cheaper. Did you really get a deal? I don't think so. I don't think so. So that being said, that will be it for this particular review. I hope it helped you determine whether or not you want to buy a short filler cigar in the future. Buy the long filler. All right. So that being said, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.